Can we put the stake in the ground and say recession done? I think so. I think so. I yep. think we are at the bottom of this cycle and um, with interest rates headed lower, that just means growth for next year. Kia ora and welcome to This Is Kiwi Economics. Join us for a regular roundtable discussion featuring in-depth analysis on important topics impacting the Kiwi economy with Kiwi Bank economists Jared Kerr, Mary Jo Vergara and Sabrina Delgado. Kia ora and thanks for tuning in. This is the first of what will be many discussions that we will have on the Kiwi economy and the key topics that influence Kiwi businesses and Kiwi households. Today we've got some good news. We've got some very good news. Uh, things are moving in the right direction. What we want to talk about today is the cost of living crisis that we've all been through over the last few years, but how it's getting better. And actually, we think things are going to be a lot better in a year's time. So MJ, can you please tell me what was the cost of living crisis and how did it affect Kiwis? Yeah, well, cost of living crisis, we usually define it as a time when, um, you know, wage growth isn't keeping pace with the growth in consumer prices. And for the last two years, that's really been the case. Wages, we've had inflation spiking to 7.3% um, and wages, you know, not nearly as high as that. So we've had a, an instance where, yeah, wages are just not keeping pace with consumers. Yeah. And on top of that, so not only was, you know, the price of all goods and services that we consume increasing, you know, above our pay, but we got slapped with a massive increase in interest expense, right? The Reserve Bank wanted to tame inflation. So, you know, what'd they do? Yeah, they hiked interest rates. So that just added another expense. Um, on top of that, we had house prices. They obviously didn't, um, they kind of, they fell over that time as well. So you had a consumer with high inflation, high interest rates and falling house prices. So that's just, that cost living crisis was very, widely felt. And it hurt. Um, it, uh, it put a lot of Kiwis on the back foot um, and it, it created uh, a recession, right? The Reserve Bank engineered a recession to get inflation back down. So after two years of being in a recession, we now have inflation to where it needs to be. And the Reserve Bank, well, they can say job done on the inflation front, which means? End of the cost to loan crisis. Exactly. And interest rates? Heading down as well. Brilliant, right? I mean, this is good news for, for households who have been doing it tough. Um, you're going to see, I think in the next year, inflation stabilizing at two, which is below what most of us will get uh, in pay rises. Actually, we'll be asking for a bit more, but uh, that'll be nice. And then interest rates coming off and eventually house prices rising again. That's going to build confidence. It is, yeah. We've seen, so with inflation now going back to the Reserve Bank's target, the Reserve Bank can start um, cutting interest rates and that should start to stimulate growth second half of next year. We should see our economy bouncing back, back into that growth momentum. So people want to know, where are interest rates going? So what's happened with interest rates and where do we see them? Well, we've seen the Reserve Bank already start to pivot and start to cut interest rates. We're expecting more interest rate, uh, interest rate reductions to come, um, heading back to that neutral setting, that sort of Goldilocks setting, around 2.75%. 2, 2 right. So we had a cash rate at 5.5. They cut 25. They then cut 50. Come November, they'll cut again, uh, another 50. And we think they'll cut all the way down to at least 3%, possibly 25 um, depending on what the economy needs. That's a big, big decline in interest rates coming through. Um, great for households who have debt, but also really good for Kiwi businesses. I mean, what are we hearing from businesses? We're starting to see that they're, they're kind of lifting their heads now, looking to next year, because they know that interest rates are head lower, so they can plan for next year with a lot more confidence. Um, and that kind of confidence and those investment intentions building, that's all good news for growth. It is, right? It's been the missing piece um, for a couple of years. The backbone, as we like to say, uh, you know, of, of, the, of the economy, very much small to medium businesses, um, 
and with interest rates declining, with the outlook for the economy improving, we need these businesses to be investing again. We want them, you know, expanding. Uh, at the moment, they heads down, they're putting out fires, um, they're dealing with very high costs, low prof profitability, uh, lots of concern around their order book. But this time next year, I think they'll be investing. I think they'll be looking to grow again. And that's exactly what we need. Yeah. We've been in this recession for, you know, two years. But I think next year will be the year that we climb out of this hole and we actually start to see growth returning to those sort of average levels of 3%. Can we put the stake in the ground and say recession done? I think so. I think so. Yep. I think we are at the bottom of this cycle and um, with interest rates headed lower, that just means growth for next year. Absolutely. That's good. Okay, so quick recap. Good news. Really good news for households and businesses cost of living crisis is coming to an end, interest rates are falling, and asset markets, particularly housing, are going to improve uh, in the next year. Thank you for tuning in. Great to have you here. We hope you come back because, well, we're going to have more of these discussions and we're going to cover more topics that influence the Kiwi economy and you and your business. Thanks for watching This is Kiwi Economics.